The giants always did enjoy hiding their secrets in plain sight. Wait until you see this. Ah, yes. Here we have Groa's search for her missing husband. She was relentless in her attempt to find him. Meditated for weeks on end. Unfortunately, she found... something else. A vision of Ragnarok. Word of Groa's vision reached Odin. He sought her out. Demanded a private retelling. Didn't like what he heard, apparently. Ironwood? That's the... I don't know what that is. The mythical sanctuary for giants. Curious. So it's in Jotunheim? I know some giants thought so, but Ironwood isn't anywhere, lad. It's a concept, a metaphorical paradise. It's not real. Presumably, Groa requested her ashes be returned to Jotunheim, while her soul found peace in the light. Difficult to imagine Odin respecting those wishes. Hmm. The champion? I think it's supposed to be... Me. You assume too much. Aye. Best not to read into these abstractions so literally. Prophecies are slippery by nature. Although some are more obvious than others. Ragnarok. Aye. The end of everything. So this is it. There's nothing we can do to stop it. There must be a way. Why else is this hidden? Look. Here. This is what we saw. It's you. Fighting in Ragnarok. No. I don't. I can't. What's this then? That's new. Asgard is destroyed? The other realms thrive? And Odin dies. She lied. Roa lied. Of course she did. <laughs> Odin's working off a false prophecy. <laughs> so then, we can win Ragnarok. We can beat Odin! We are not present in any of this. But that was Tyr leading the charge against Asgard. Plus, Hell's army was there. And the elves. Champion. Okay, whoever that is doesn't matter. But for the first time, we know something Odin doesn't. We just saw we can win. Tyr? I won't allow prophecy to define my choices. But, but we just saw No, you. Atreus. This is wrong. Come. There is much to discuss. It is time. We can't stop Ragnarok, but we can win it. If Asgard is destroyed, Odin will not be the only casualty. There must be another way. So, what'd you see? A lot. Groa lied to Odin. Ragnarok isn't the end of everything. It's just the end of Asgard. Just the destruction of an entire realm, is it? To say nothing of its citizenry, its wildlife. Those ignorant and innocent of Odin's misdeeds. Enough. There is much to discuss once we are safe at home. We need to keep moving. He's really worked up. Think he's okay? Focus, Atreus. <laughs> <laughs> Are you 
you okay? No. It is over. It is far from over. I... It's gonna be okay, dear. You've seen what is to come. I told you I would not follow you to war, and yet here I am, dragging an innocent, innocent? elf and marching towards the destruction of Asgard. What choice do we have? There is always a choice. I will not lead you to war. I won't. I'm not that god anymore. I don't want to fight. But with you three, there is no avoiding it. Your path leads to countless deaths, unimaginable pain and suffering. Sir. Hey, dear. Thanks. And I'm sorry about before. I, I. No. I am sorry. I should never have come. We shouldn't linger. I just want to do the right thing. And according to prophecy... Speak no more of prophecy. War will not give you the purpose you seek, Atreus. Only slaughter. So what are we supposed to do? Roll over? Do nothing? Enough! We will discuss our next move when we are out of danger. Here, we... Open the gateway, please. yourself the legacy this one has left for the barons. I've had far more than I can stomach. Ah, glad to see you back, young one. Come help me, won't you? Oh, sure. We can eat whenever you like, Kratos. The stew will only improve with time. Glad you're in a better mood. Yes. I was a little overwhelmed before. Forgive me. It's funny. Nothing seems to settle my mind quite like cooking. Being locked up for so long, you forget how much joy lives in the little things. 